I'm studying for Molly. I'm Ian. And we're budgeting on a budget. So I think we can all agree as a young adult, we all have an issue with trying to figure out our spending habits, especially with our groceries. And we wanted to make a service that would help with that. And our solution is budgeting on a budget, which is basically an Instagram page that would give you guys recipes and it would not only include the recipe, but it includes the money total. And our goal is every week to give you guys um, a whole week of meals for $25 or less. So as you can see right there, we had a meal plan and the total for that whole week was $20. Yeah. So we identified our target market as new adults, which would be adults aging from 18 to 24 who are learning how to take care of themselves for the first time. Um, we funneled that in a little bit more to be new adults who are concerned with um, money and health. Um, and this is because with food convenience at an all-time high, it's pretty easy to get food, but it's not necessarily easy to get food that is healthy and also affordable. Um, and so to get these customers, we plan on doing classic social media marketing um, with hashtags and such, but we also would like to do um, posters outside of dining establishments on campus, as well as pamphlets in the counseling center that um, might uh, make people, or sorry, students <coughs> to learn how to budget, um, look at our Instagram page if they need help. And we're gonna keep these um, customers by posting regularly updated recipes and articles, and we hope to grow by using different platforms in the future. So to get some feedback from our future customers, we sent out a survey. And 92% of our surveyors were between ages of 18 and 24, which is our target market. And 80% of those people live off campus and don't have a meal plan. And surprisingly, the average amount of money spent weekly was $41 on groceries, which I think everyone can agree is just a little bit too high. So one of our questions was figuring out what people's favorite form of social media was so we can figure out a good platform to have our service on. And the winner was Instagram, although in the future we can help to expand on different forms of social media that people tend to favor. And when we wanted to know if there was a resource to help budget your weekly food plan and uh, pretty much lay out our service for them. 90% of our respondents said it was something they would love to use and would be very helpful. So we talked to a couple people on campus and we got a lot of feedback saying <coughs> it's just a great idea and that a lot of them are kind of worried about money that they spend each week. Um, and a lot of people were saying that if we were to offer like vegetarian or vegan or gluten-free options that they would be more likely to use it. So if we were to do like a new dish, we could offer like vegetarian alternatives and all that. Um, and then a lot of people said they wouldn't have time to do it every day. So we can make it so that each meal itself is fairly cheap so that people who can't do it each day can come in and just like, they see one that they like, they can pick it and still find a cheap meal. And Ethel gave our idea two very enthusiastic arms up. She was pretty great. <laughs> so, and then some substitutes that we found were food blogs and YouTube videos and alternatives, asking your parents or friends and reading a cookbook. Um, and what made us different from those is that when we looked at food blogs and YouTube videos, um, none had itemized pricing. And so what we would do is um, each ingredient would be priced for Bellingham. So like we'd go into the store, find each ingredient, find the price and put it on there and then add the total up at the end. Um, and we also have a total for the whole week, so, yeah. Our process started in the first class where we all met each other and brainstormed different communities or what kind of projects we'd want to do, and only in our second meeting do we decide on uh, helping out the student demographic where you're trying to budget, but you're also trying to get healthy. Um, after that, we create an online survey to make sure uh, not only that we are posting uh, relevant content to a relevant social media channel, but we're also making sure that, as you saw, uh, it is a desired thing that people want and that people would use. Um, our third team meeting, final team meeting, we went out with those survey results and showed people our vision board uh, and got feedback based on that to make sure that that was how they wanted it.
We feel like we're the right people to uh, execute this project because we are part of this community. We're all off campus. We all uh, do not have a meal plan. Time. We are. <laughs> Some questions that are relevant to the rest of it. All right, folks, we have three minutes of QA. Let's start with um, what everything's going well. I really like the design layout, the color scheme, which is like mm -hmm. perfect. Um, super happy. It makes me feel like I'm going to save money and eat healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like the poster board, like how you laid it out, how it looks like an Instagram page. I've got three photos. It's easy to say, yeah, we're going to make an Instagram page. You have to actually put it on board and then make it for maybe people. I really like the itemized pricing and the regional pricing. That makes a lot of sense because if I lived in New York, you know, pricing in Bellingham would be totally different. So that's good. Um, I, I really like just the idea of having the meal plan because I really want to eat healthy, but I just don't know how to make healthy things, I just result to the same food every week. Mm -hmm. So, I think that's really good. Thanks. And I have a suggestion. I was thinking yeah. it would also be cool, because it would be totally different pricing depending on where you bought the food. Mm -hmm. And so it would be cool to show different places you could purchase it from. So if people um, wanted, were interested in shopping at the co-op and mm -hmm. thought that it was going to be more expensive, but you could show them that it's actually going to be maybe cheaper if you bought in bulk or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, would there would there be more options? So you, you talked about there being more options for people who eat different foods. What would that look like? Would that be like a weekly option where you just have like one list of food that everyone sees or would there be like tabs that you could like choose? It would be like different recipes that are priced according to that recipe specifically, and then people can kind of make their own meal plan by deciding what things they want to eat that week. And then if people want alternative things, um, like if they're vegetarian, we'll just have like a little asterisk maybe in the recipe, like if you're a vegetarian, you can substitute chicken or eggplant or something like that. So I saw one of your quotes, someone said that they might not use it because they don't have enough time. Mm -hmm. um, I think it'd be, you, you could easily just like put a quick time on different recipes and yeah. then they could choose the, the shorter ones. Mm -hmm. That's a good suggestion. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. I was a little confused to whether it was, was it 20, because I, I think you all said it was $20 a week or $25 a week mm -hmm. to eat for the whole week. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess I guess that doesn't really seem like realistic. Wait, so because that's for one day, isn't it? No, it's not for a week, and it includes snacks. But it's like if you were to just pick one breakfast, one lunch, and one dinner, that makes your groceries a lot cheaper, and you're gonna use everything up. So that's not how people save money. Okay. I guess just I guess the comment is just that there's like a little bit of ambiguity that could be like worked out. Definitely. Awesome.